Hello my friends, welcome to the All Movies. In this video I'll focus on another shining martial arts superstar, Jet Li, a retired kung fu champion, who went on to star in many critically acclaimed martial arts epic movies. This is Jet Li's debut film. His salary then was 1 RMB per day of shoot, which is approximately $1 per week. Martial artists from Hong Kong and mainland China were gathered to appear in the movie. This film was the first Hong Kong-China co-production to be filmed in mainland China. The plot has no bearing with the first movie, and hence it is a sequel to the original in name only. The temperature was so hot during filming that actors would occasionally go into shock while filming the fight scenes. More than 300 leading martial arts experts were recruited from all over China to be extras in this film. In China, it became the highest grossing film of 1987, selling 116 million tickets in the country. Here's some money for a doctor. Jet broke his nose after being hit in one of the boxing scenes. On every movie after this one, you can see a small scar on his nose. This is the only film he has directed to date. Lee badly damaged his knee when he jumps out of the tea shop using his umbrella. For this reason a lot of the final fight was performed while Lee was in plaster, meaning he had to be doubled for some of the moves. A lot of the shots are from the waist and above to hide his plaster. The US version has 9 minutes of the original cut and was released under the title Legend of the Swordsman. The Hong Kong version is in Cantonese and it retains the 9 minutes of extended footage and gory violence. It remains Jet Li's highest grossing film in Hong Kong to date. Donnie Yen was hit in the eye by a pole in the final sequence and as a result had to have stitching above his eye. Most of his close-ups are only shot from one side. The iconic theme song, A Man Should Better Himself, was performed in Cantonese by George Lam at the beginning of the film and by Jackie Chan in the end credits. Chan also sang the Mandarin version. <laughs> Jet Li broke his right wrist during filming, necessitating some very creative fight choreography in the climactic battle. According to rumor, Jet Li and Jerry Trimble did not get along with each other during production. On the DVD commentary, it is explained that while Li and Trimble were not unfriendly, they viewed each other competitively, based on their respective backgrounds in martial arts. <laughs> Yeah. 
This was the first time Jet Li worked with Corey Yuan. They have since become close friends and work together on many projects. Miramax released its version on DVD, cutting approximately 10 minutes and adding a new score into dialogues. American version is not only more taut, inoffensive, and consistent in tone than the Hong Kong original, but also offers a substantially different interpretation of character motivations and relationships. <laughs> It is a derivative of the Once Upon a Time in China film series, and unlike others, it can be considered a spin-off or parody. However it differs greatly in tone, as it contains stronger elements of violence and broader, more slapstick, comedy. The film contains some Easter eggs, such as a life buoy poster in the 19th century, a staff of the Monkey King, a Guandao and Nuja's universe ring. <laughs> The movie was released the same year as its prequel. Two former Miss Hong Kong winners, Michelle Rice and Amy Kwok, portrayed Jet Li characters' wives. Lee was originally considered for the role of Eddie Chan in Crime Story, but his agent was gunned down by the triads. The incident caused Jet to opt out of making a movie about organized crime, as he was afraid of attracting the wrong attention. Donnie Yen was offered the role of Chin Bo, but turned it down to pursue his solo career. The controversy of the film was changing the protagonist's character from a righteous hero to a power-hungry and vengeful hypocrite, and thus not faithful to the novel. As the film performed poorly at the box office, plans for its sequels were cancelled, and hence its cliffhanger ending was left unresolved. This is one of two films in which Lee and Mute C play a father-son duo, the other being, My Father is a Hero. can be considered a loose Hong Kong remake of The Bodyguard starring Kevin Costner, as the two films share many similarities concerning some scenes and the development of the relationship between the two main characters, though key points of the plot in each film are different. Jet Li plays Chen Zhen in this movie, a student of Master Huo Yuanjia. He would then go on to play the master in Fearless. It is a remake of the 1972 Fist of Fury, which starred Bruce Lee. It was a major inspiration for the fight scenes in The Matrix. 
The roof can be seen during the final fight scene, indicating wires are only used to pull the characters left and right, and not above. The film is a parody of some of Hollywood's most influential action films, such as Die Hard and Speed. It also gained controversy for spoofing Jackie Chan, who was in turn offended by the satire. Lee would later publicly apologize to Chan for taking part in it. During the production, a fire destroyed 10 million Hong Kong dollars worth of sets, resulting in severe budget problems. In an attempt to limit the damage, a special export version was cut, which omitted parts that seemed too Chinese to attract international audiences. It won the Golden Horse Award for Best Visual Effects and was nominated at the 16th Hong Kong Film Awards for Best Action Choreography. An homage to the Green Hornet, Black Mask wears a domino mask and chauffeur's cap, in the same style as Kato, played by Bruce Lee from the television series. The Black Mask is even compared to Kato in a news reporter scene. The film was shot at the Alamo Village, the film set originally created for John Wayne's The Alamo and other locations in South Texas. The film is the sixth and final installment in the film series. It also saw the return of Jet, who was replaced by Vincent Zhao in the fourth and fifth films. In the scene where they are buying clothes for Lee's character, Jet dresses up as several well-known movie hitmen, such as Leon in Leon, The Professional, and Mark in A Better Tomorrow. This is the only Hong Kong movie where Jet used his own voice. Not only was this Lee's first American-produced movie, it was also the first time he'd ever played a villain. Richard Donner asked him to slow down during action sequences because he was moving faster than the camera shutter speed and it wasn't registering on film. Jackie Chan was considered for the role of main antagonist but turned it down because he chooses never to play the villain in a movie. <laughs> Joel Silver gave Lee the leading role in this film for his praised performance in Lethal Weapon 4. Jet came up with the idea to have Aaliyah fight the lady on the motorcycle during the chase scene. The film became a box office hit. Though he spoke very little English at the time of production, his performance as Chinese hitman was praised. The only scenes that used CGI are when Lee falls down the laundry drop with flames surrounding him and in the hotel scene when he kicks the ball from the pool table. 
it is also the only scene involving wire work for him. Director had to slow down the fight scene between Jed and Cyril Raffaele because they were moving too fast for the camera. I will be the one. The scenes involving Jet fighting himself were shot using Lee and the stuntman with a build similar to his. The stuntman's face was painted green so that it could be digitally replaced with Lee's face later. He uses two distinct kung fu styles, the evil Yulo uses the shape Will Fist, a very linear offensive style, while Gabe on the other hand practices the eight trigram palms, which uses subtle, circular movements. This movie is the most expensive Chinese movie to date. It was both a commercial and critical success and became the highest grossing motion picture in Chinese film history at the time. Jet agreed to a pay cut so he could be in the movie. A warrior's ultimate act is to lay down his sword. Put me down or I'll kick your ass, Bruce! I'm not Bruce. <laughs> Lee's character only fights with one hand for a majority of the film. The casting of Mark DeCascos was the result of a poll on his website where fans were asked who they would like to see him fight next. Real-life UFC competitors Tito Ortiz, Randy Couture and Chuck Liddell were recruited for the cage fight sequence with Jet. The screenplay was written by Luke Besson exclusively for Jet Li. Bob Hoskins actually cut his hair at the start of the movie, as his character would have done it in the movie. The role of Sam was written for Morgan Freeman. He was the first and only choice to play the character. In the movie, Lee uses the Chinese straight sword, three-section staff, Chinese broadsword, and Chinese spear. Anthony DeLongis and Jet broke at least six swords during their sword fight just for the first take. Anthony gave Lee a genuine Spanish sword the day after filming was finished. With Fearless, Jet has now been filmed as all of the big three among the historical martial artists in King Dynasty. My partner's got that head off! find the only pen living in the past. War is the second of five collaborations between Jed and Jason Statham. The first was the one, the third, fourth and fifth being the Expendables. Lee stated in multiple interviews that he was not happy with this film nor its production. He went as far to say that this movie sucked and he had no confidence in director. <laughs> Jet Li received $15 million, while film had a budget of $40 million. The film won many prizes in many Hong Kong, Chinese, Asian and international film festivals. The main battle sequence had a detailed script treatment of over 20 pages and a maximum of eight cameras rolling simultaneously. Up to 500 stunt horses were used. This movie marked the first collaboration between Jed and Jackie Chan. However, Chan has said he did not consider this movie to be theirs film, as neither of them had anything to do with directing, producing, or choreographing. But when they shot their fight together, they found it relaxing, easy and comfortable in terms of movements, rhythm, and natural reactions. Since Lee was only available for a part of the shoot, it was decided that the Emperor would be either a rotting mummy or encased in terracotta in most of his scenes. 
In that way, Lee could play the Emperor in the flesh, and the remainder of his role would be done by a CGI character. This is Jet's first full drama and non-action role. He wants this film to get a good message across and promote the works with autism as well as the works of his charity, The One Foundation. He did not take any pay for the film. Everything is harder for me. Why I get hurt? The only is bigger. Because I'm smaller. Why trouble? I need to go farther. I know, because you're smaller, right? Yes. After a one year hiatus from filmmaking, Lee returned to acting in 2010, portraying a mercenary in The Expendables. He reprised his role briefly in the sequel and returned for the third film in 2014. Originally, his character's name was listed as Kong Kao. Jet Li complained that this was his most tiring role to date because he had to hold back every punch against his opponents, mostly women with no martial art background, while they went all out on him. He mentioned that he got tricked into accepting the role. The producer supposedly convinced him that he didn't have to fight a lot, but it turned out to be the opposite. Before Lee was signed on, the role was reportedly offered to Donnie Yen, but he turned it down due to the fact he has no wish to be in sequels or remakes of previous films he has already worked on. Jet was signed with $12 million contract to star in this film. All of Jet Li's scenes were filmed in Hong Kong because he was working on another movie at the same time. So when you coming back? Maybe soon, maybe never. Maybe try a new life. Then who am I supposed to pick up? You will find another minority. See you later, alligator. <laughs> This Chinese Hong Kong action comedy stars Jet and Wen Zhang in their third collaboration after Ocean Heaven and The Sorcerer and the White Snake. Nobody's here. I thought church was as home. Although top bill, Jet has less than five minutes of screen time. Lee, most renowned for martial arts, as well as Victor Ortiz, a multiple welterweight boxing champion, doesn't throw a punch or perform a single kick in his brief appearance. So you're working for Trench now. He knew I thought you retired. Yeah, 
有缘再见。We'll destroy this roaring army and the witch. Here's my decree. Jet, who plays the emperor, admitted turning down the role because of the script and pay. After his daughters reminded him that it was important for Disney to shine a light on Chinese culture, he backtracked and accepted the role. This is the fourth collaboration between him and Donnie Yen. And that's all, my friends. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.